Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we're starting a new series for Going Medieval. Going Medieval recently received an update with some new cool features like the option to trade with other settlements and to customize your settlers. Both of these we're going to explore during this playthrough. And as well as how do they change the experience of the game, in a very positive way in my opinion. To make this playthrough a little bit more interesting, I came up with a little story about who our first settler is. His name is Albert van der Wolf. A solitary soldier, well versed in the art of combat, both with the sword and the bow. A series of events has forced him to leave the kingdom he served and escape to the Silent Mountains, where he will try to carve a place for himself. This will be the rise of the Lone Wolf. So in every episode, Albert's story will continue in the description below. And of course, don't forget to show your support to the series by hitting that like button, subscribing, and of course, dropping a comment. Let's go into the game and see what the setup will be for this time. So I made a new heraldic heraldry. We'll call our settlement the Silent Mountain because that's where Albert ran off to. We'll go with a mountain map just to make it a bit more interesting and of course a large size. For anyone interested, this is the, the seed that we're going to use. And I did customize Albert. Apparently he's invisible now. So he has a little bit of animal handling, a little bit of culinary, he's very good at marksmanship and melee, a little bit of mining and a little bit of smithing. Now here you can see that we have the group creation points, which is one of the new features we just mentioned, that you can actually edit your settlers and make them however you want. So you can set their background, as well as their pseudonym, any perks they have. So Albert will be industrious which gives him a bit more of um, global work speed. He's a night owl, he recovers faster, and his sleep bar is depleted slower. And he's also brawny, because as a soldier, I imagine him to be pretty tough. So he has better weapon melee, damage multiplier, global work speed, a better movement speed, and of course unarmed damage, because he knows how to throw a pants. So I've used all of his 170 points, you don't always have to do it. You can, if you choose to. So, we'll be playing the Lone Wolf scenario, so it will be a little bit, a little bit of a challenge, and we are playing on standard difficulty. So, standard difficulty, Lone Wolf, Mountain, and with a single settler, Albert. Let's embark into the journey. Okay. Let's have a look at the mountain. I see a lot of stone. Okay. We we'll need to plant properly because there is not a lot of fertile land. And we will need some hay to get started so we can make a couple beds for Albert and the first person that will try to join us. Also, I want to find a sort of defendable position. This is a nice corner to build something. We have a lot of iron, a lot of stone. Salt, I'm guessing. Yep. Where do I want? I think I will start over here and start digging down. Okay. So, first things first, unlock this stuff. Albert, equip this bow and the linen cup. We will go on jobs. Um, oh, I forgot to set up preferences for him. Oops. <laughs> That's okay. In this case, you will have no preferences. I guess it will add a little bit to the difficulty. I'm just gonna change everything into zero. Can I do... Yes. And then we're gonna start setting each one as we want. So we want him to have 10 of 1. And convalescence of one, so he can survive. Hall will be one. Steward will be five. I don't want him to do any research, because he's not exactly the smartest cookie. I don't want him to do any tailoring, or carpentry, or smithing, or crafting. 
I do want him to do cooking. And he will need to cook before he does other tasks. So I'll make cook number two. He will minus three. He will cut plants as three. He will cost construct as two and he will hunt as two. So hunt is his highest priority in terms of tasks. Then if he doesn't have any hunting orders, he will construct things or cook. And if all of those are taken care of, he is going to mine or cut plants depending on what's necessary. What are those resources? We have a bit of limestone, so it will be easier to collect this limestone instead of... Uh, I don't want to collect every, every, everything. It's going to collect this so I can build the first building easily. Where do I want to start? Because we don't have plenty of uh, wood, so we will need to be a little bit conservative. I want those sticks, and I also want some hay for the beds. So we're going to select cut plants and say cut down one, two, three. The yellow stuff. That should be enough. What else do we need for a bed? Let's quickly check. Uh, just 15 hay. That's convenient. That's all we need. Okay, you can start going there. I don't care for that buckler. I do care for the food and I do care for that little wood pile. So since stone is the thing, I'm going to make a little bit of a room over here. Let's make this... How long is that? That's 10 by 6. I want to change the wooden walls into a limestone wall. Place that here. Three should be long enough. Yes. Let's close that. Let's close that. Should be enough to house two people for now. And we want a door. We can only have a wooden door for now, so we're going to go with that. And in terms of a roof, we're going to go for a limestone roof. Since we have an abundance of limestone. And I need a place to store all those resources. So for now I'm just going to dump it all over here on a 5x5. Five five. Uh, I need a dumping store ground, so I'm going to use that over here. So I do want carcass for humans, but not animals. But I don't want the bones, so you can take the bones and the waste. I'm going to remove all types of carcasses from here. And all types of waste, because I don't want it to clutter this area. Okay, let's increase the speed a little bit. Hide the roof and sneak a couple beds in there and the brazier. Brazier. We only have. Oh, we can make a stone one. Good. So we'll make one here. And this two. So I can house the first two people. Now we will need to put some better flooring over here so these things do not decay. And. This is one, two wood each, so do I, I don't have 50. I'm gonna use... Yeah, I'll make it 50. That's okay. I can easily cut a couple trees down. And that's 45 each. So not too bad. So you're gonna quickly go haul all the things he needs to haul. He will build. And when he runs out of resources, he will go pick up stuff. Continue building. After all, when it comes to the Winter Wolf scenario, there is a couple things we need to be very careful of. Food is always a problem early on. Um, hay is also a problem early on.
and I'm building this floor here because I'll make a little bit of an extension, probably for my kitchen, the butchering table, and everything else. I'm not going to change his schedule just yet, but I will make him use a ranged weapon. Uh, you can have all type of headgear, all type of armor, and you can only eat meals. We'll customize those more as we go. Ooh, and his construction skill is going up. Nice, nice. Okay. So while he's working away on these things, I think I will only override his priorities to just go get this tall grass. I'm not sure how long I have before the day goes away and we'll lose that hay, but it will be catastrophic if we don't get that early on. Come on, you can do it. Okay. Did you pick it all up or did you... Destroy it. You did. You got uh, 30. Okay. 30 is enough for two beds, I think. Yes, it is. Okay. Back to your tasks you go. Let's speed up a little. And... This needs wood as well. Okay. The reason I build a brazier is because I don't want him, the new settler that comes through, to freeze to death. That's never a good idea. And we need more limestone. I don't want him to go dig for it yet. I just want him to go pick it up. Because it's a lot easier to just go pick up like 200 limestone than go digging 200 limestone. As we keep building things, I'll uh, make some windows, I'll beautify this. For now, I'm just concerned about making a survivable settler settlement. Ooh, that's a, that's a pretty big pile, 170. How much do you cover a time at a time? 30. Okay, so you can cover 30 at a time, so pretty much one of them is... About uh, two kilogram seeds. Yes, they do. You say one kilogram seeds. So in reality, he should be able to cover mo to carry more than that. Okay. Well, he hasn't finished his house, so he won't get any of the positive moodlets, but that's okay. The first day is fine. Yeah, I think around day three is where those go away, the tall grass. I don't need it for anything else yet, so I'm not too worried. I can actually even cancel this. Now, another little trick thing here is... He won't be able to build this wall because he needs to cut those things. So he will finish building everything else. And then, when his priority go down to cutting, he's gonna cut those and then build. So, just something to keep in mind when you're building things, because... It can be a bit uh, tricky. And a lot of people are like, oh, why are they not building it? But the priority... This thing needs to be taken care of before the block is available for building. Like right now. Okay. Come on, Albert, you can do it. How are we going on food? We have one more packaged meal, so he will need food very soon. Like, very, very soon. His botany leveled up. Good. So just chop down these two trees. They should be enough. So I do want a butchering table. We'll just place it. Uh, 
I want to make some sort of corner roof for it. But I won't be I won't be able because of this I will need another layer of the wall here. Hmm. I can place it here, but it won't go that far. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to place this right here. We'll build a campfire right next to it so we can do the cooking. And I'm gonna put another layer of wall over here. And use one of the corner plate roofs. I'll have to do it from the other side. Okay. Do we not have enough wood? Okay, cut down this one as well. Don't get trapped. Hmm. It will actually not like this, because we don't have any support beams yet. So I will need to extend this over here. One, two, that might be enough. But still no pillars for it. Yeah, it's a bit too tall. So we're just going to make it into a regular limestone roof for now. Okay. Close this all off. And where do I want the door? I think over here will do. So both things are at the front, yeah? Yes. And you will need a butchering table. Which fits... which doesn't fit... Oh, which fits over there. And a campfire right next to it, so he can operate it from whichever side. And now for the roof. A bit of a big build. Now, are there anything... Ah, we have a couple of uh, rabbits we can hunt. They are usually the easiest thing to start with. How, are, how can you miss with 50 archery? That requires a skill, a serious skill. There you go. Mm. Okay. Grab one more. Three or four rabbits should be plenty to get started. Let's grab this limestone as well. And that's why we use um, hauling as priority one, because we want him to grab them as fast as possible. How am I doing on wood? I don't have enough wood, but I have enough limestone. I won't cover this one just yet. Oh, I don't have anything for animal carcasses. Oops. Let's place that here. That was a big oopsie. Because if you cannot bring them here, we can never process them. And if we cannot process them, well, we cannot eat. Let's cut down this couple bits of trees. I think this is probably the most fertile piece of land I have. Ah, yes, you want leisure activities. It's okay. We got it. Everything is under control. But everything requires wood. What are you bringing home, Albert? Just more limestone? Did you pick up the rabbits? I don't think you did.
I really don't think you did. Where are the rabbits? Ah, they're over there. Okay, well, at least they're not um, forbidden, so he can go pick them up. They're a little difficult to see with all the stone here, but that's okay. There is the first rabbit. Timid but fast. A wild hare is hard to catch. A worthy beast for the pot and for its fur. Yes, yes it is. Take the roof away. So I need another 60-ish wood. Bringing the food back. Can you still manage? You need religious activities. We'll fix that soon. Food, you are still okay. So you can go until tomorrow without food. Now you are a practicing oak brethren. So the shrine you will need is one of those. And since wood is really hard to come across, we're going to make it out of stone. This one doesn't really matter what um, what, if it has any flooring or anything like that. So we're just going to squeeze it over here. That should be enough to keep, it, to keep him happy. Let's go a bit lower on the layers. Very good. What's the temperature in this room? So to see the temperature in a room, you just have to go into the type of the room. In this case, it's a shared bedroom. And the room temperature is 14 Celsius, which is cold, but not too cold. Like, considering it's minus 21 outside. The rabbits are decaying because they are under an unroofed storage which we will deal with soon, but not just yet. What I think I will do is I'll put a little storage place in here. So I'll clear all of this, I'll clear all of this. I will allow animal carcass so they can bring something and butcher it. And this will be the high pri very high priority. So everything will first go here and this will be an overflow. And here, I just want the fuel. Since this will use sticks as a fuel, I'll just have some sticks handy. Helps with them going back and forth. Sticks, sticks, there you go. And this will also be very high priority. Albert is starving. It's okay, Albert. We got it. So he's moving things. There are the sticks. There are the rabbits. He's cutting the tree. It should be enough for him to build the campfire. No, you're meant to build the campfire first. Okay, you're building the campfire. You want to make a meal forever, for now. Actually, they need two meals a day, roughly. I'll have two people, and that season is about 12. Let's go with 40 meals. I think 40 meals will be plenty before they go bad. And I don't have anywhere to shelter those yet, but that's okay. What's the temperature in here? Minus 2 Celsius. So things won't really go bad in here. The key problem will be after winter, when things start to warm up. And now we're getting the butchering table. No, don't fall. Don't fail. That's an expensive build to fail. Okay. This will be forever because there is no point just keeping the animal. So 
So we get a bit of meat and a bit of leather. I'm not too worried about the meat staying outside because she's gonna cook it. And just to make sure, I'm gonna click on edit. I'm gonna remove coal and wood from fuel for the kitchen. Because I only wanna use the sticks. They're pretty easy to come across and they don't really have any other use at the moment. And he went to bed. Well, here he's sleeping. A lone traveler, a, rang a rangy hawker, empties their pack, spreading a selection of oddments for a linen cloth on the ground. I buy and sell things that take my fancy on the road, they say, with a crooked smile. Take a look if you like. Okay. Here comes our first trader. That was quick. No, Wolf, don't eat him. I need him. His name is Osred Outerbridge. Okay. So to initiate bartering, bartering with a merchant, select a settler and right click on the merchant. Then select the barter with option. Well, when Albert is awake, what are you going to. Okay, you're going to wait over there? That works. So before Albert prepares food, what do you have? This is the new inventory. So this is an item he doesn't care for. These are items that I can buy from him, and this is items that I can sell to him. So I can sell ale to him and herbs. Actually, no, it's the other way around. He wants to buy this stuff, and I can buy this from him? Yes. So acquiring, and then it will be to his favor. I can sell some stone, because I got plenty. Do I need any herbs? Or alcohol? I don't, but see, the value is very different, so it's not really worth getting it at the moment. Yeah, the only things you have on him is 4 pieces of alcohol and 11 herbs. That's okay. We good, I don't want to trade anything. Bye bye. I think he will just go away on his own. Albert looks happy. You want to build up your defenses. Ah, yes. The joys of uh, the lone wolf. We're gonna get attacked. Soon. Very soon. Idle. Albert, you're idle. Why are you idle? Because you don't have anything to cook, build, or craft. So, let's have a quick look. We have 25 pieces of wood, we have a lot of limestone, a little bit of leather, some food, but we need more food. In which case, where can we find some more animals that are not wolves? Because wolves are dangerous. Here, I want to hunt this. If you double-click on an animal, if there are any other around it, it will highlight them. But in this case, there are none of the same type. It's a wolf, no thank you. I can grab a few more sticks, but I don't really need them at the moment. There is a ton of uh, limestone he can collect. I don't want to play with a the wolf. There is all this iron here, but it will just clog up my stockpiles, which is not really worth it currently. Okay. Albert, looks like it's time to cut down a few trees. Just to build up a bit more of our wood supply, since I'll need to, to build a bagamon table and a couple other small things. After you go hunt that uh, little rabbit. There it is. As the game mentioned, defenses are going to be very important. So I might take some time 
build some defenses. I can probably close this all off. This will cost a hundred plus, like about two hundred. Put a door over here. And we can easily accommodate that without digging. So yeah, sure, let's do that. Yeah, like there is a lot. I won't enable all of those just yet because he will get very confused. But I think this is a nice and sort of easy place to defend. Might need to expand this, like build up on this hole a little bit and close it off. But it's a good start. The Church of the Third Coming merchant is leaving your settlement. Bye bye. I'll see you next time, Osred. Okay, so we have eight meals. Day five, we're gonna get one more person. Yeah, we should be okay. We might cut it a little close, but we should be okay. Worst case scenario, we're just gonna hunt a, a wolf. The buckler is decaying. That's okay, I'm not too concerned about that. And I also want to build a bit of a storage room, just so I can keep the food and everything else. But I'm really waiting to see what the next settler will be. So I can plan accordingly. And I suspect there will be a runaway. Which will be even more fun, because we will need to defend them. Now, another thing they added to the game. They added the option to relocate an object. So you can take this, pack it into a box, and relocate it wherever you want. You don't need to destroy it, and then try to rebuild it. And relocating, I believe, takes one-fourth of the time that it actually takes to build, which is very good and very cool. So I can go down here, to this area. Hmm, might need to set up an underground mine or something. The possibilities are endless. Really endless. You're slowly leveling up your... Construction, level 5. Well, you will need to level it up so you can build some of the fancier stuff soon. Some people like to rush research, but on Lone Wolf I don't think rushing research is really ideal. Unless you have a settler that is really good at research. Because you need to balance your food, you need to balance your shelter, your heat, and all of those things. It becomes a little bit of a challenge. are we doing on uh, limestone? We still have 200 plus. Good. Plenty. Don't know how you build that when you have another one in front of you that is blocking you, but I mean, whatever works for you, buddy. Now the door. And I'll keep it on default now, so I won't keep it closed or always open. I still wanna build I still wanna block the enemies for now. There goes the tree. You're suffering for the, from the cold. It's only minus 24. You're fine. 
you don't have entertainment, and you're desperately thirsty. Okay. And those trees. Also, I just realized before what I realized. Salvation, the looters. Appearing the rains at first, Gerwolf, interesting, another wolf, was simply overcome with terror. A pitiful, stumbling corpse with wells for binding and hearts beating by a cruel master. Gerwolf begged, hide me, I will die if I'm caught. Now, if I ignore him, my guy will be grumpy. If I decide to take him, oh, he can fight as well. And he's good at animal handling as well. Interesting. And very high medicine skill. And I will get attacked by one guy. Okay. Now, when you take some of those people in, um, you upset the party that is hunting them. So once we unlocked one of the new buildings, the, not the buildings, and one of the new items, the, craft, the cartographer, we're going to be able to see the nearby functions. So, we have a bed for this guy. I don't care for a schedule just yet. I'll just... just going to copy this. You love mining and you love hunting. That's okay. For now, you're gonna operate under the same things as Albert. Uh, your schedule will be the same. And I don't really have anything for you to use or equip. So, I don't really have anything for you to use. You can only eat meals. And let's just make sure he gets on a bed before we end our first episode. Of course he wants to eat. Auto save. Perfect timing. So he has a minor chest laceration and a milk concussion. Which is okay. He will survive. He is a night owl and he's fleet footed, so he's very good at moving. He's fast. A lot of medicine, a lot of melee, and a lot of mining. Let's see his skills. Five animal handling. Decent botany of ten. A little bit of culinary ten. More intellectual than Albert. But that's okay, that's not his primary task. Marksman and melee. And he is really passionate about mining. Good thing we are on a mountain, huh? <laughs> but that's all the time I have for today. Thanks everyone for watching. And I'll catch you all on the next episode. Bye bye.